Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, so, back with another video. I uh, just recently watched this movie, uh, so I figured why not make a video about it. I love the movie, I love the director and the writer and everything like that. Uh, we're going to talk about Trick or Treat. So, it's a horror anthology movie. Um, but before we get into the movie, um, I just went to Spirit Halloween. I know you saw it on top of my head. Uh, got a haircut too, thank God. Ne definitely needed it. Uh, but went to Spirit Halloween and picked up this little guy. Um, I, if you've seen my uh, recent videos or a little couple past videos, um, I have a couple uh, of different, you know, statues and, and figures and stuff like that of him. Um, so I'll link, you know, a little video somewhere up here in the little bubble. Um, so you can go back and watch those because they are really awesome as well. Um, but without further ado, little Sam, look how cute he is. And he's really nice size. Let me turn this little, uh, he's got his little, I mean, he looks better, obviously, without a light uh, shining on him. He can, you can see it a little better. But I mean, look at, I mean, just, just awesome. Uh, this is the first one, I believe, with his mask off. Uh, the first one with him sitting on the pumpkin is uh, with his mask on. And then I think, I think the other one that I have that was handmade um, is with his mask off. But again, go back to those videos, watch them, all the cool horror stuff uh, with that. But let's get into the movie. Uh, so the movie came out in 2007. Uh, it's about an hour and a half-ish. I think it's like an hour and 22 minutes. Um, so definitely on the shorter side. Um, like I said, it's a horror anthology movie. Uh, so you get five kind of short stories. But the real cool thing is, is like a lot of the horror you know, anthology movies, um, like Creepshow, Creepshow 2, you get little, I mean, obviously that's what an anthology is, but you get little, you know, videos and clips, um, like short stories, and then they don't really tie together as much. Obviously... With Creep Show, you have the creep and that kind of the overlying kind of blends it together. Um, but with this movie, the overall story itself blends together, especially with the small stories, which is definitely awesome. Um, so Michael Daugherty wrote and directed this movie. Um, he actually wrote, it's called Season's Greetings. Um, it's basically kind of like a short, uh, he did, it's a short film really, um, back in 2004, I believe, um, that introduced everybody to Sam, uh, and then basically kind of took a, a mind of its own and, and then they made the movie. Um, obviously he's done that, or they've done comic books and stuff like that as well. Uh, my friend, Chris Gugliotti, which everybody should look up his stuff. And if I remember, I'll put his Instagram down. Um, he actually did a comic book. He did the art for it for uh, a trick-or-treat and it's i mean his artwork's amazing regardless so definitely look him up i'll try and link everything down below because he does great work regardless um but look it up it's cool the comic book the the graphic novel is really awesome too um so you have dylan baker anna paquin brian cox uh quinn lord is actually the actor that played sam um basically sam's become a huge popular character horror icon honestly i mean even if you go to spirit halloween this year i mean it looks like Trick or treat threw up all over the the store. They, they have blankets, they have pillows, they have statues, everything you can think of. They have little picture frames. You know, they have how many days till till Halloween. Um, so I'm okay with it. I love Sam. I think he's awesome. Uh, but basically, you get kind of five separate stories, like I was saying. Uh, they all happen the same night on Halloween, and then they kind of intertwine. Basically, Sam is if you ever seen Creep Show, which if you haven't, go watch it. Go watch this movie too. But if you've seen it, Sam is kind of like the creep in Creep Show. He is more of the in the behind the scenes. Um, everything's happening, and then obviously he gets his hand his hands dirty a little later in the movie. Um, but it seems like you know, here's a short story. Sam's kind of in the background, just like watching, giggling like a you know the little little demon that he is. Um, but basically, you get five little stories. One is a couple. Um, obviously, you're not supposed to blow out the jack o' lanterns before Halloween is over. That happens, so obviously Sam has to kind of get a little, little crazy with her. Um, and then also there's a uh, principal who's a closeted serial killer. Help yourself. It's for the pumpkin, not you. Promise. All of mine were dull. Uh, 
smashing jack-o'-lanterns. Obviously, there's more information with his story, and, and obviously because it blends into something else as well. Uh, but he's a principal, he's a serial killer, and it kind of shows him kind of going throughout the night as well. Um, also, you have a, you know, your stereotypical high school virgin trying to find her first, you know, boyfriend. I'm not in the mood, so just come on out. Again, that has a twist as well. It's not literally just that. They play on Little Red Riding Hood. It's, you know, that one, and especially the transformation. Um, I don't want to spoil it, but the transformation with her as well. I mean, this movie came out 14 years ago, 15 years ago, so I guess there's nothing really much to spoil, but if you haven't seen it, go see it. It's an amazing movie. Um, uh, the next one is a group of teens, basically plays a prank on one of the, the girls that go to school that's maybe not as liked. Um, and then, you know, she ends up getting revenge. Um, so that's a really cool one. And then obviously the, oh, the last one where Sam gets a little bit more involved, um, is an old crotchety kind of man who, you know, hates Halloween. And obviously there's reasons why he hates Halloween and you see those in the movie and it explains it a little bit more and why Sam's involved in this one. Um, so that's definitely really cool that Sam's there and he's kind of, you know, orchestrating everything that's kind of happening and stuff like that. So, uh, it's really cool. Um, there was a fun little tidbit about this as well, is that each story, um, can be interpreted as basically each stage of like people being introduced to, to Halloween. Um, so obviously, you know, you have the couple, you get introduced to Halloween, um, and then obviously, obviously, too, the, the serial killer has this kid that's kind of like introducing him to, you know, Halloween and what you do and what you're not supposed to do and stuff like that. Obviously, there's more nefarious things that he's showing his kid. But um, and then obviously the kids, high school kids, they are the stage where, you know, you're in high school, you're going out by yourself on Halloween. You know, you're going trick or treating with your friends and everything like that, playing pranks and, and, all, and you know, getting a little crazier. Uh, and then obviously... Um, Anna Paquin's character and her friends are more of like, you know, the twenties to thirties where you're still going out, but you're really more going to parties and going, you know, you know, to get drunk and stuff like that and, and get a little crazier than some of the high school kids. Um, and then obviously, uh, the final story is more of like an old crotchety man who just hates Halloween. He's sick of, it, he's fed up, you know, all these kids are just annoying him at his door. Uh, that's kind of, you know, at least, the way I interpreted it is kind of cool where it shows you like the beginning and everybody loves Halloween and then it kind of slowly trickles down. And even with the couple too, uh, in the beginning of the movie, uh, you know, he likes Halloween a little bit more than her and she's just like, okay, let's take the decorations down. Let's, let's get rid of all this stuff. It's Halloween's done, even though it's not technically done and don't blow out your, uh, your jack lanterns Let them, let them go. Even though it's a fire hazard. Um, another cool thing with this, um, they there's nods to Stephen King and John Carpenter. Uh, if you look closely in the scene where they go down into the swamp with the, the high school kids when they're playing the prank, um, you can actually see the car from Christine in the background, which is pretty awesome. Um, so there, you know, there's and, and again, I don't want to spoil anything, so go see the movie, go watch it, love it. Sam's, you know, maybe he's a mass murderer, but it's a cute one. He's a little, little guy. Um, but it's funny. It's 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 good comedy. I, Michael Daugherty did the uh, Krampus movie as well. Um, that kind of has the same, you know, comedic vibe, horror vibe, where it's really like a happy-go-lucky, funny horror movie. You know, it has comedy mixed into it. Yes, there's horror involved. Yes, some of the stuff is pretty scary and frightening. But it's it's got like that uplifting spirit, honestly, almost. Um, but like I said, anthology movie. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Go watch Creep Show. Um, I think Tales from the Crypt uh, is another good kind of reference quality. If you like, if you haven't seen the TV show, I believe it came out in the '90s. I'm pretty sure, uh, maybe early '90s. I can't honestly remember. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's there's really nothing to to say besides good things about this movie. Um, I just bought this guy 
Uh, funny thing is, I had him sitting off to the side of the bed, uh, so that way I can keep him for this video. And, and my girlfriend actually ended up seeing him and basically said, get him out of here, put him somewhere else. He can't sit right next to the bed. It's going to scare the crap out of me, basically. So, but look at him. I mean, he's so cute. And he's so tiny. Just. So, without me beginning to ramble on, um, have you seen the movie? Are you going to see the movie now that I did this video and you've watched it? Because you should. You definitely should. Go watch Creepshow, Creepshow 2. The Raft is my favorite in Creepshow 2. Um, so, Creepshow 1 is just a masterpiece regardless. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Uh, but yeah, other than that, leave all the comments down below. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Uh, do you like Creepshow and all those more? I mean, there's a lot of horror anthology movies. Uh, these are just the three that I love the most, it seems like. Um, but yeah, and then like, subscribe, hit the bell notification down below. Uh, we're really pushing to 100. I think we're 20-ish 20, 20 off or something like that as well. Um, so out of the pile of, of the giveaway right here right next to me, then, you know, once we hit 100, we'll post that video, get that giveaway going, and then give stuff out to you guys. That's, you know, that's the gist of it. Uh, so yeah, other than that, we'll be back with another video, hopefully in a couple of days here. Bye.